Hey there, Chris here, and today we're taking a look at the 2019 lineup for the Hobonichis. We have both the Weeks and their regular um, A6 size Hobonichi in English. So first we'll take a look at the Weeks. Um, these come in a variety of different cover colors. Uh, we have the Scarlet, the Strawberry Latte, the Boar Piglets, and the Cactus, in addition to one of the Megas. And so I'll just take you through these. The layouts are all the same, no matter what uh, the cover option is. A um, little different feel to them. The Scarlet and the Strawberry Latte have this kind of matte fabric feel to them. Um, the Boar Piglets and the Cactus have a little bit of a kind of silky smooth feel to them. Um, the Boar Piglets and the Cactus are awfully adorable. A um, little bit more expensive, but really not that much. Uh, the Hobonichi Weeks, uh, this has a kind of cardstock cover. Uh, it's very durable. I had one without a cover all last year and it held up beautifully. Uh, just simply embossed with the year on there and just minimal branding on the back. The notebook comes with two ribbons here and you'll see why those are so useful in a sec. So the Weeks layout's a little different than the regular Hobonichi. Um, you open it up here and it's got kind of a yearly overview. I should mention that the weeks is in Japanese, <laughs> but um, for the calendar part, I mean, it, it all corresponds to our English calendar, so it's really not a, an issue whatsoever. So you open it up here and it has the whole year in advance, January through December, every day. You can mark maybe birthdays in this section, um, really big events, mark off vacations, whatnot and then it's gonna to go to a monthly overview. Now it starts in December of 2018 and then it moves on from there to all of 2019. This is really great for planning out, you know, work assignments, school projects, um, everything you could think of. It does have some blank spaces down here at the bottom and the side if you need to make some notes. Um, I usually took one of these bookmarks and whatever month it was, I'd mark off that section and then with the other one, I'd mark off the week. Um, that's why it's so handy to have the two bookmarks. And then it does take into account, um, so if you were to buy this notebook right now, um, you would have the option to use it starting at the end of November. It does cover some of the weeks of 2018. And then it jumps right into 2019. Here we go. And so what's neat about this is it's not a daily planner, it's a weekly outlook planner. So on the left hand side here you have the week overview Monday through Sunday and in this section you're given a little box where you can write you know anything you got going on that day, big events, appointments, all that good stuff. And on the right hand side you're given this graph section where you can really write whatever you need to. Um, you can correspond the box section over this side if you need more room. You can just make to-do lists. It's really flexible as far as you know the options that you can use it for. So you can see there's these little tabs on the side here. Those correspond to all the months too. So if you just need to, oh, I had that thing coming up in May, you can kind of stick your finger in here. And for the fifth one, open it up to May. The end of the notebook, you're gonna be given a bunch of pages of just blank sheets. Um, this you can use uh, for grocery lists, anything you need to. It's just a nice area that's really flexible for your use. And then I mentioned that this was the Japanese version. There all are these fun facts um, of different things in the back. Unfortunately, it is in Japanese. So um, yeah, while it's fun to look at, it's not necessarily the most useful. With every week, you are given a subway map of Japan and Tokyo. Again, not the most useful, but very interesting to look at. And this nifty little um, sticker it can be used to put in your notebook. I usually put it right here. And what that can be used for is a little ID, credit card. Uh, you can stick it in there. And it works really well if you want to use this as kind of a mini wallet. Um, I've sometimes just taken um, my Hobonichi Weeks, stuck my ID and credit card in there, and I'm good for the day. That is the Hobonichi Weeks. Next up, we got the classic Hobonichi. This is going to be an A6 size, about six by four and an eighth, give or take. Um, it's got the Hobonichi kind of logo with the keys on the front, Hobo on the side with 2019, and that's about it. This is kind of a fake leather cover. It's quite flexible. 
Um, the cover itself is extremely durable. Um, you can buy some cases for them, but honestly, this thing wears really nicely and I personally like the look of it all beat up. So the format of this is gonna be a little different than the Weeks. One of the bigger differences too is, is this is the English version. They came out with these a few years ago. I think it's really nice. Um, gives everything in English. So we have a yearly overview with 2020 in the front here. And then kind of a breakdown of the months. Um, so two months per page with all the days. Kind of like the weeks, you can use this to jot out really big events happening uh, in your year. I like to use it for birthdays so I don't forget to send a card out to anyone. And then it jumps right into a monthly outlook. Uh, this is a nice little spread where you can do some more planning. And then unlike the weeks that's going to have a weekly overview, regular Hobonichi has a page per day. Um, this is really nice if you need a bit more room to plan out your events. Uh, you want to use this as a mini journal. That's what I usually have used this one for. Just, you know, you get some lines, write down the major things that happen in your day. Uh, it's a great place to keep track of all that. Because this is the English one, we have um, some kind of fun quotes down at the bottom here that we can actually read. Uh, it's always fun to kind of peruse those. Um, some kind of neat moon cycle information here. And it just basically goes on like that. Um, it again has the tab feature on the side, a little bigger so it's a little easier to figure out which one. You know, if you want to go to October, you can just stick your finger in there, go to October and kind of flip through to the day you're looking for. In the back of here, we're not given as much uh, blank pages. We're given a few kind of dot grid pages here. And um, one of the reasons people love the Hobonichi so much is it's because they use the 52 gram Tomoe River paper, which is, if you've been watching this for a while, you'll know is probably my favorite fountain pen paper. It just does a wonderful job of accepting inks. Uh, there's no feathering, there's no bleed through. Your inks look phenomenal on it. Um, that said, it is a nice paper for other mediums. Uh, you can use roller balls on here quite nicely. Pencils do a good job. But as you can see here for fountain pens, which is gonna be all of these, no bleed through. It just shows off the best qualities of your ink. Um, there is some show through, but honestly, I really don't think it gets in the way of you planning out your year in here. And so we're given some blank pages back here. And then we also have important contacts, a nice little reference section with a mini ruler, all this fun little information on some um, traditional Japanese household items that you can actually read about, Japanese zodiac, traditional sweets, just kind of fun stuff to peruse. Um, dialing codes for phone numbers per country, just, you know, you might not use this stuff, but at the same time, it's handy to have at uh, fingers reach. So that is the Hobonichi. We got the Hobonichi Weeks. Uh, one other one that they did just come out with is the Hobonichi Weeks Mega. This is exactly the same as the Weeks. The only difference is, you remember there was all those blank pages in the back. This has at least double, maybe triple the amount of those blank pages uh, for you to use. So. What that means basically is it's going to be close to twice as thick as the regular weeks. Um, some people like the slimness of this. I think it's pretty nice that you have all that extra room here. Um, if you don't want to you know, treat your Hobonichi weeks like it's a sacred object, you can tear these pages out, use them for blank pages. Uh, it's just really nice to have. So that's our lineup of the Hobonichi products for 2019. Just Absolutely phenomenal for getting your life organized in 2019. You can go check them out at AndersonPens.com.